Top of the Sports Night Zone for this Tuesday, former Trinidad and Trinidad Tobago champion jockey Pavin Badri won his first race at Caymanus Park in Jamaica on Sunday, booting home the 72 shot Silent Cat in race five for owner Carlton Watson. Badri, who also won the rider's title at Assiniboia Downs in Canada, has ridden over 150 winners in North America. He joins us today to talk about his career. Pravin, um, welcome to the Sports Mag Zone. Great to have you on the show, on debut here on The Zone. Hello? Yes, uh, we're welcoming you, Pravin, to the Sports Mag Zone today. Are you hearing us okay? Yeah, man, you're good. Thank you. Okay, you've been in Jamaica now for a couple of weeks. How are you settling and in? I know you I won your first race on Sunday. But how are you yeah, enjoying the Jamaican experience? I love Jamaica. Oh, you do? I love, yeah, I really love Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, having come here a couple of weeks ago to start a stint here, would this have been your first trip to the country? Yeah, first time I'm coming to Jamaica. Or how do you compare the Cayman Spark experience? You've ridden in Canada, Central Downs, Central Mile, Assiniboia Downs. You've ridden in Barbados as well at the Garrison Savannah. How does Jamaica compare to your previous riding experiences? It's a really nice track, but a straight run is really, really long. It's different from all other tracks. Yeah. So how satisfied are you that it, it has only taken a couple of weeks to open your winning account in Jamaica? Pardon me? How, how satisfied are you that it has taken such a short time for, to you, for you to win your first race in Jamaica? I'm, I'm really, really, really satisfied. I'm happy. Yeah. I know the Canadian season usually starts in April or May. Is it your plan to ride in Jamaica until then, or do you plan to extend your stay here in Jamaica throughout the year? Well, I, I really have to go back to Canada this year, and maybe when I come back from Canada, I'm going to come back straight to Jamaica again. Yeah, which brings me to my question. How long will you be in Jamaica for? Um, being honest, it's like a couple of weeks again. Being okay. honest. Okay, and when yeah. you answered Lance in the opening question, you said you love Jamaica. I'm Trini. I'm in here in Jamaica too, and I love Jamaica. What do you love most about your experience so far in Jamaica? Is it Caymanis Spark? What, what made you fall in love with Jamaica? Well, well my experience with people was really nice to me, and Chuck is really nice. I, I love everything about Jamaica. Yeah, you know, recently we had a conversation on the Sports Max Zone and we were talking about, you know, the state of horse racing in Trinidad and Tobago. And I feel as if, you know, I want to hear your comments on the fact that, you know, Trinidad and Tobago horse racing has been on the decline. Yeah, Trinidad is the industry kind of drop, our horses drop, race days drop fast, everything is very bad right now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And you, you being a man who has ridden, you know, in so many different countries now, Jamaica being um, your latest, what would you say, you know, has caused that? Because, you know, we're so concerned about Trinidad and Tobago racing, horse racing. Well, I, that, that's a good question to be honest here. That's a good question. <laughs> he sounds like a yeah. real Trini. That's a good question, Mariah. Yeah. But you know what? I don't have the answer. <laughs> I don't have the answer either. All right, Lance, yeah. you go ahead. Yeah, um, uh, Pravin, we know that um, apart from your championship win in Trinidad and Tobago in 2015, you were also a champion in 2018 at Assiniboia Downs. Joint yeah. champion, in fact, with Antonia Whitehall, the Barbadian, and another Barbadian, Ronaldo Cumberbatch, was just two wins um, shy of the title. So it was a real close, close going yeah. that, year, that year. Could could you talk to us about your 2018 experience at Assiniboia Downs, where you were champion? Yeah, yeah it was nice. It was, it was very competitive. And I love competition. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, we know that riding can be a, a, a hazardous sport. Uh, you suffered some injuries at Century Down and Century Mile. You were out with a collarbone fracture at one point and also a, a, hip, a hip fracture at, at different yeah. tracks in, in Canada. How much yeah. of a setback would those have been to you? And um, uh, how do you feel about your riding career so far, given the fact that you've had stoppages because of injuries? Yeah, well... Well, I, I had a terrible since 2018. I was off for like four months. Yes. And then when I started back again, and left till 2019, I was out for like two months. And I started back again, and I'm 
Wishing good like brand new again. <laughs> right, I'm uh, going to ride till I die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, who, who, who was your inspiration? We know TNT has produced some very outstanding riders. As a, as a teenager getting attracted to horse racing, which Trinidad and Tobago jockey, uh, Pravin, inspired you most? Mm. A good question. I didn't do that. <laughs> I, I, was, yeah, I, I, I was thinking yeah. you may have said Emil Ramsamy or, or you know, uh, who, who has been probably Trinidad and Tobago's most successful rider overse overseas. Uh, another, yeah. an, another issue here, you're pretty tall, Pravin, 5'9 or 5'10. That's very, yeah. very tall, tall for a rider. Yeah. Confirm yeah. your height for me and uh, talk to us about how, how you keep your weight um, at a level that you can still continue to ride competitively. Yeah, well, I, I don't eat much. I, when I'm eating, I only eat meat and vegetables. Mm. Protein, yeah. Protein and... No, and, vegetables. And vegetables. Yeah. yeah. So, so your, 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 your body weight is about 113, 114? Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah Pravin, uh, I want to hear about your most favorite win so far. Um, you've won a lot in your career. Which has been your most memorable one? Well, within the Oaks of Century Mile, 2019. Yeah, and 2016, I went to be before and didn't know anything to share that. Yeah. What about those wins make them so special for you? Well, like, a derby, everybody want to win a derby. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you won the Derby Award Academy Award for the Jamaican trainer, Anthony Nunes, who had some horses in Trinidad and Tobago at that time, Pravin. And, and you're, you're in Jamaica now where Anthony Nunes is, is, the, is the champion rider. Um, yeah. Is it likely that you'll be riding horses for Nunes in, in Jamaica? Yeah, for sure. Uh, talk to us about, uh, just going back quickly to your Canadian experience, because Assiniboia Downs in the past decade, Pravin, only once in the past decade has a rider who is not Caribbean been champion. Jorge Carreno, the Mexican, won last year. But you had Chris Husbands, Rowan Singh, uh, Chavian Chow, yourself and Antonio Whitehall. Caribbean riders have dominated at Assiniboia Downs. Yeah. Could, you talk to us about, could you talk to us about the impact of Caribbean riders at Assiniboia Downs and how much the trainers and the, the owners love, love you guys? Yeah, Caribbean, 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 Caribbean people like myself grow, grow up rough, climb trees, parents whooping us, what kind of thing. You understand? So, horses is a rough sport. <laughs> Remember last year, COVID, lockdown for us. Yeah. yeah. So they didn't have too much of Caribbean riders to go to, to our track. So, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Where in Trinidad are you from? Just a question that just popped in my head. From Marabella. Okay, that's South Trinidad. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what are your so so what what are your targets for Canada when you when you ride there this year? Will it be Assiniboia Downs or will you be riding at Central Mile as well? Well, that's a good question again. <laughs> You see what it's Pravin is doing to us there yeah. when he doesn't want to answer us. He's yeah. telling us we yeah. are having great yeah. questions. What's the answer? <laughs> no, that's, that's a good question, everybody. And what's the good answer, Pravin? Let's let him off the, off the hook then. Um, no, I, boss man. Yes. Most important, I want to thank my, um, my boss man, yes. Steve Anaya. For, for giving me the opportunity to bring me to Jamaica to ride. Yes. And, and work for the experience. I'm thankful. Yeah, that's, that's Shivan Maharaj. You said. Shivan Maharaj. Yeah. Shivan Maharaj. Okay, yeah. He, 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 he owns the Triple Crown winner Supreme Soul from yeah, 2019. And also Calculus. Calculus, who won the Derby yeah. and the St. Leisure last year. Yeah. So, what are you've already opened your account, as we said, in Jamaica with Silent Cat on, on, on the weekend. Um, yeah. how, how, how many winners are you targeting in Jamaica in the time that you have left here? Well, right now I am 399 winners. Mm -hmm. I would like to make it 400. One, I'm thankful. I use that to learn level, level long. Yeah, so, I'm not doing so your 399 career wins span yeah. all of your riding in Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados and Canada? Yeah, all over, yeah. 
So how are your rides looking for this weekend? Do you have live rides? And uh, can we expect the win number 400 in Jamaica this weekend? That's a good question. I didn't. Yeah. So you're not sure if you're riding, Kevin? They didn't tell you if you're riding as yet? We yeah, want to come down to Kimanis and see you. Yes, I have, I have four rides, I think. Saturday. I don't know what's going on for Sunday. I'm riding for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, Trinidad and Tobago lost a couple of iconic um, racing personalities in in recent years, uh, Pravin. The latest, Harold Chady, who was a top trainer and also champion owner. He passed away last last week. Um, any, any any words of condolences to him and his to his family? Yeah, it's really, a really sad, sad, sad thing. Because actually, yeah, actually, gave me my first winner. I was, was February 14, 2009, Valentine's Day. Wow. And my husband's son, to three times. First wow. winner on Valentine's Day, 24 to 1. Mm -hmm. It was a really, really, lot of really nice time when we were sitting in the street. You were talking earlier on about enjoying Caymanus Park and how big the track is, because I know the tracks at Canada, Assiniboia Downs, Century Mile and Century Downs, where you have ridden, and also the Garrison Savannah in Barbados, are, are smaller tracks to mm -hmm. Caymanus Park. Caymanus Park, probably more similar to Santa Rosa, isn't it, than, than most of the other tracks you had ridden at? No, 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 Caymanus. That's a big, big, long... <laughs> so what sort of adjustments do you have to make at Caymanus Park then? Because would that affect how you rate your horses and the sort of um, patience that you show in a race because the curves are not as tight and yeah. there, there's a more, you know, leisurely development of races? Do, do, you, do you see yourself strategizing differently as a race rider in Jamaica than you would have in Canada and TNT? Yeah, for sure. Mm. And so far, and so far, I've seen you a couple of Thursday mornings um, exercising horses and so on. Um, is your jockey uh, pattern similar to others, waking up at 4.30 in the morning and getting to the track early to ensure you, you work the horses for the, the trainers? Yes, for sure. You've got to do that. Mm. Do you have yeah. any secret? Um, you know, I like to ask people this. There are a lot of people that have... Um, things that they do that are different from others, you know, that re helps them to reap success and rewards. What's yours? Mine? Mine? Yeah. What do no you wife, do? No wife, no kids. What did he say? I didn't hear. You were the Trini. What did he say? I, I'm Trini. My, my, my secret is no wife, no kids. No wife, no kids. Oh, dear. Yeah. You heard yeah. it, ah. kids. <laughs> Pravin, 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 you're not Pravin, doing well, you know. Because Pravin, that sounds pretty mean, Pravin. Huh? It sounds pretty mean. He means no, he's focusing. It's mean. You got you got focus on your job and let's focus on yourself. <laughs> time for for yourself and time on your job and let's focus, focus. So so yeah. these these Caribbean riders who go to Canada and fall in yeah. love and and have children and families in Canada that that's not going to be your your trajectory. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, but Kevin, you don't plan to fall in love. It just happens. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I like Robin. <laughs> Robin, Robin you, you, you're a rat, man. You're a rat, to be honest. No. Yeah. I, I don't think we've ever had an interview like this on the Sports Mat Zone. <laughs> so you, you're creating history, sir. Yeah, it's nice. You, you're 31 years old now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to be 32 on June the 9th, 1999. In June? Yeah, That's my yeah, birthday June month. In June. But you know June is a popular month for weddings. Very best people on the earth, Gemini. Yeah, I, I know. I'm saying June... Yeah. And December are popular months for weddings. For wedding? weddings? Weddings. Oh my yeah. God! <laughs> I I heard of that name. That would. <laughs> so, all right, so, all right, let, do we have a girlfriend, Pravin? Plenty. Plenty. Oh yes. no! <laughs> all right, let's go back to the horse racing lands. Pravin will get himself in trouble on the show. <laughs> any, any in in Jamaica yet? Because you've been been here just two weeks. Huh? Any in Jamaica yet? You've been here only two weeks. Only six. Pardon? Six. Six. Six, six yeah. girlfriends? Six girlfriends in two weeks, <laughs> Pravin? Yeah, yeah, we're doing six, yeah. <laughs> Pravin is a rat. Maria, continue the interview. Huh? <laughs> I want to talk about the horse race, and I don't want Pravin to, when he leaves the show, all his girlfriends to call him. So, Pravin, you... Somebody's going to kill me next now. 
Yeah, I don't want anything to happen. We want to see you this weekend, and we're looking forward to see you at Kemanitz Park. I mean, based on your experience so far, we're expecting you to return and participate in bigger events, right? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks so much. I well, love Jamaica. Uh, 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 Pravin, great, great talking to you here on the Sports Mat Zone. We, we, wish you, we wish you many winners and um, a lot of conquests in Jamaica. Okay, thanks so much, man. <laughs> Bye. There are a few interviews that you get me speechless. This was one, Lance. Well, uh, it's time for a break, and I'm telling you that still to come on the show, we have a prominent track and field agent, QB Sigobin. He's set to join us after the break to talk about his passion for the sport and how Jamaica's athletes can continue to stay ahead of chasing the global pack. Plus, we'll have a review of today's games in the English Premier League. Did the Red Devils lose again or was there redemption following their FA Cup exit? Stick around for the discussion. We'll have more Sports Max Zone after the break. Side right against the real caller wheel vice Jerry Pie coming on late, but it is Brave and Badry continuing to use the stick as they're inside the last yardage. No stopping Brave and Badry and a silent cat. They win by maybe five. Close between my time now, XY Soul. Uh, then